And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game that probably everyone's going to pronounce incorrectly, including myself, I think it's Sabredage. Um, I think for the English market, that's kind of a weird name. Uh, sabotage, sabotage, I think, would have worked just as well, maybe. But anyway, this is a game where pirates are fighting each other, uh, and you have your own ship, and you're just blowing the snot out of everyone else's ships, and they're doing the same thing to yours. Uh, it's a tile end game, and for the life of me, this game has been driving me crazy because I know I've played this before, but I can't think of where. I don't know if I played an early prototype, but I don't normally play prototypes. It's been driving me nuts, but I know I've played this game at some point in my life. However, in this game, you have your ships, you're drafting tiles, putting them down, shooting cannons. The cannons are going to shoot your enemy ship, or maybe they'll go through a pipe in their ship and go all the way through their ship and hit another ship. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous, but that's what this game is about. Let's take a look. In this game, each player has a pirate ship that's going to be made of a bow and a stern, and then two just generic tiles placed between them. All tiles have different things on each side of them, but uh, you just use the backs. And th this is your starting ship. And the ships are all next to each other. So this one's next to this one, but this green one's also next to the red one here. So let's actually zoom in a little bit here. We'll just take a look at three of the ships for now. The goal of this game is at the end of the game to have the longest ship. And if you both have the same length ship, then uh, you, whoever has more cannons is going to win. Each player has a pirate, which they're going to uh, keep in front of them. This pirate is essentially just going to, it's just a secret number that you're keeping hidden from the other players. And so you're going to start each round, each tide they're called with four tiles, and you're going to look at these tiles, and you're going to decide which one you're going to put on your ship. So maybe I want this one here. This has two cannons. That seems pretty good. I'm going to have this tile, and I'm going to stick it in the number two position. So starting from here, one, two. So after everyone has picked their tiles and picked this, they'll reveal their pirates, and then I'll place that one like this. And maybe the person above me uh, put some put this here like this, and this person down here put these rotten planks in. Now, all these tiles are going to do different things. When you place cannons, you're going to put fuses on them. So here's a one and a two fuse. Here's a one and a two fuse up here. So let's pretend that there's only these three ships that are involved in this one. And let's pretend that we only placed one tile. You're actually going to then, when you're done with the three tiles, you'll pass them to the next person and they'll put something in. Uh, and you'll put in more tiles. But after that happens, all these tiles are going to go off. So each of the number one cannons are going to fire first. So this cannon fires, and remember it wraps, so it's going to go around and blow this up. This cannon's going to fire, but there's a spring here which shoots it back and blows up this one. So the number one fuse is gone. And the ships always move backwards like this. Then a number two cannon fires and blows up this one. And so things aren't looking too good for the bottom ship. But that was only one tile that we placed, and there's going to be a lot of different tiles. So cannons, as you can see, are going to shoot in the different directions. How do you stop cannons? They're just going to blow you up. Well, you saw one way. A spring will shoot a cannon back towards it. There are tiles with armor on them. This just protects you from cannons. And there's these pipes, and you can build more of them, where if this cannon was shot now, it would shoot through here, shoot through this pipe, and get this ship. And in fact, if you're not careful, you might even sometimes shoot your own ship with these. There are more than just regular cannons. There are these cannons here, which will switch fuses every time, and they're going to continue to shoot. There's the long cannon, which deep blows up everything in the row in front of it until it's stopped by armor. Happily, it comes with armor, so it won't blow itself up. There's the mortars here, which shoot over a ship, and nothing stops them. They will even blow up the pipes and things like that. Uh, there are the boarding parties, in which you will simply just take over the tile and add it underneath you, because that will add to your length at the end of the game. There are treasure tiles, and every turn that no one uh, blows them up, you're going to be adding more and more tiles underneath them from the pile. Of course, they're very susceptible to boarding parties. And even boarding parties, if two boarding parties are facing the same ship, you know, so 
if there's a boarding party here and a boarding party here, neither one of them is going to get the tile. So there's some other rules like that. You can even have advanced rules where if there's different people on the ship and they will affect the ships in different ways. So after the tide is over, after you put these out and blown things up, then you'll start another round. Oh, I forgot to mention the rotten tile here. This one looks like garbage, but the fact is when you get this one, you can place it after everyone else has placed their tiles and put it wherever you want. So it lets you avoid cannons, except at the end of the game, this comes off. Anyway, after three tides, after three tides of you passing around these tiles, longest ship wins. If there's a tie, whoever has the cannon, most cannons wins that tie. Now the game comes with these little explosion tokens. You put these on parts of the ship that are blown up. Um, you don't take the, the tiles out. I was pulled them out. I shouldn't have done that. You put these tokens on to show that they're blown up. So these are here. There's the fuse tiles, which are pretty small, but they work. These tiles are not so good, unfortunately. The pirate's fine. It looks all cool, but these plastic things that are in there are barely in this. I could snap it off real easily. I don't want to do that. And they don't even stand up real well either on these little things. I almost wish the game had just come with a die and you hid, but I mean, you would need a, what, a 10-sided die, I guess, but that still would have worked, I think. Uh, the, the artwork and the stuff on the tiles themselves, these are fine, the tile quality is good, everything looks, it's pretty easy to see what they all do. Um, I mean, you have to look it up. You'll forget what the different characters do all the time, and I almost wish they put just a little card in the game that showed the carpenter, the gunner, and the saboteur, but after you play a while, you will figure out what they do. So on all, pretty good quality, except for the pirates themselves. So this game kind of fits along the lines of, let's say, Galaxy Trucker. In Galaxy Trucker, you draw tiles by the spaceship and then watch as they get blown apart. Um, and in, there are other games that have the same kind of aspect. And that's what this one is. It's a drafting game. You put things out, but you literally do not know what's going to happen. Because you don't, yeah, I guess with drafting, you might know some of the tiles you pass other people, but you don't know if they're going to use that tile. You don't know if the person's going to be shooting your ship or going to be putting up armor. And so while I enjoy the game and watching everything happen, it is essentially one gigantic luck fest. You just put out the tiles and then watched it. Now, it's hilarious, the stuff that happens. The long cannon shooting through the pipe and blowing up the next ship or uh, a ship shooting over another ship. And in a three-player game, sometimes you hit yourself. Sometimes it's hilarious. Even in a five-player game, you're not quite sure what's going to happen. There's some really entertaining things that happen in this game uh, with the boarding and the treasures and stuff. But every single game of this I played, when it was over, we looked at the winner and we said, good job, you got lucky because that's how it works. It's not like there's that skill involved. Now, I like the artwork. I like the theming of it a lot. It's silly, piratey theming. I like the uh, idea of drafting and putting them out, but like I said, it's kind of just, you really don't know what anyone else is doing, so you can be like, hmm, I'm gonna put this here. Oh, they put the rebounding thing. Well, what do you know? And some tiles are inherently better than others. The switching cannons, the long cannons, they're really powerful. But overall, I enjoyed it. I don't think it's a game I'd want to play all the time, uh, mostly because it's, it kind of plays by itself, but it is an enjoyable, entertaining experience. I didn't have any bad problems with it. I think players looking for some deeper strategy or any strategy at all will be disappointed because even if you add in the crew members and all this stuff, and ooh, I'm gonna try it out, think other people. Nah, you're just gonna see what happens. But sometimes that is good enough for a game and that's what Sabotage is. I'm Tom Vassell. Thanks for watching. Dice Tower Judgment, chaotic amusing. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah. Yeah.